Wait, two, one, okay. Hi guys, I'm Miriam and I'm a biomedicine bachelor student and I've been get I'm a digital ambassador and I've been getting a lot of questions about what does a normal course lab look at KI. So I decided to film one. I picked a lab that we did in our immunology course, which was a four-day lab, and the main goal was to determine the antibiotic resistance of a bacteria called um, S. aureus. And I will show you like step by step, like how did it go and our, what would, did we do, and I will like insert like little clips of the lab as I go. Um, okay, so day one. Are you excited for the lab? Day one, we started by extracting the bacteria from our nose. So we used a cotton swab and we just like shoved it up our nose and we got a sample and we just put it on a Petri dish. And after that, we just put the bacteria in the incubator, just like let them sleep, let them have some rest, let them grow. And we let them for like a day. And then the second day, we uh, went into the lab in the morning. We looked at our bacteria. Um, some people had more than others, as I will show you in th this clip. And um, after we after we looked at our bacteria, we took some samples and we ran um, three tests to make sure that we had S. aureus. And then we also we put them in the incubator and we were done for that day. And then on day three, we got to culture some of um, our bacteria and we put them in this um, centrifuge. And it was just, um, the shaker that you, we put like big flasks of our bacteria and we just let them for like five, six hours so that they can grow even more. And it just like shook them all around so they would be able to grow and not like concentrate in one area. And that allows our bacteria to grow um, faster and not like die. And finally, it was day four, which is like the most exciting day because finally we can test the antibiotic resistance of the bacteria in our own nose. So we took a sample from our bacteria and we diluted it and then we put it in this big Petri dish and we spread it all around and then we put like discs of antibiotic um, antibiotics um, around the Petri dish and we just let them on the bench for like 30, 30, 20 minutes. And after that, you would see like a diameter where the bacteria was not able to grow. And the width of like, or like how big that diameter is, or like the radius of that diameter would um, show you um, how resistant your bacteria is to that specific antibiotic. So the bigger the diameter, the more like the antibiotic can affect the bacteria in your cells. And I went around and took um, um, videos of all my friends' antibiotic plates and we were able to compare and see who was antibiotic resistant to what and as scary as it was, it was also really fun to find out. And in the very end of the lab, I was able to sit down with my supervisor or professor and we were able to have a discussion about like antibiotic resistance and is it really scary or is it really a big deal and what will it mean in the future or are we going to resort to some new ways to cure um, infections without having to use antibiotics. Thank you.